Hello everyone and welcome to the Distinct Mastering YouTube channel. My name is Freddie. Today I'm going to give you five Ableton Live 12 browser tips that you might not know. These are some cool tips that I've been learning about while using the browser and categorizing my sounds. It's been a daunting task, but it's been fun. It's exploring my library and showing me things I didn't necessarily know. And I'm going to show you my top five tips that I've learned along the way. Let's get right into it. Okay, since we're using the Ableton Live 12 browser, I'm going to get rid of myself so you can see my full screen and I'm just going to disappear in the corner. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to clean up some of your workspace. This is a good tip. If you notice, there's a little edit button above the collection and right next to the library. If you hit that, you can eliminate things you may not need. For example, I don't really use this tunings one. I really work in Western tuning and ultimately I don't necessarily need to look at that. If you don't want to look at some of this other stuff, like maybe you don't use the modulators or you don't use some of the Ableton drums, or maybe you just don't want to look at some collections, you can eliminate them just by doing that. And now it's out of your workspace and it frees up a little more room so you don't have to scroll up and down and it just helps get you faster and be more efficient. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is going to be related to tagging. I've been going through my library and tagging a bunch of sounds and it's been a daunting task. As you can see, I'll just scroll through some of these bass steps, for example, and you see I have them tagged one shot and synth bass. But you might notice that I've added a bunch of my own tags. Now, the way to do that is you can just add a tag and you can actually, if you just typed in a test tag right here, it's just going to add that at the bottom. But if I want to nest that tag, what I can do is I can add a tag and say I want it to show up under that woodwind. If I just hit the little pipe button and then I do test like that, now I have a tag that will get nested underneath this. And it's a pretty cool way to categorize some of your own sounds and create your own hierarchy that you need that you use most regularly. Another thing I want to talk about with tip number two is you can also add some of your own groups. So I've created a group and I've been considering tagging some of the popular sounds I use for specific artists or genres. And I'm just playing around with this. I haven't really came up with a final concept here of how I want to do it, but definitely work towards adding some of your own groups and creating some of your own tags, creating your own hierarchy. It really makes it you. Tip number three is going to be search and save. So as you know, if you just select a sound, you don't have this option, but if you hit command F and you bring up the full library, and you search something, say for example, I search hi-hat. So basically with this plus button, what I can do is I can then save this search to my sidebar. And now I have this hi-hat search always saved. Another cool thing you can do with search and save is that you can actually search and save your preset tags that you've created or the ones that Ableton came with. And all you have to do to initiate a tag search is put the hashtag symbol. So if I put hashtag clap, now all of a sudden these two tags come up and if I search this, I can also add that clap, so hashtag clap, I guess if you want to say your tag, you can add that to your sidebar. So everything you've tagged with clap or everything that falls under that category is going to show up in this search and instead of having to type it, you could just pull up all of your commonly saved searches right there on your left. Another reason why it's nice to clean up your sidebar so you have room for things like this. Also, what you could do once you have some predefined searches is you could search by rank. If you right click here, you could search by rank, date modified, size, type, and place. And all of these will tell you, you know, where they're located, what the size is, and you could filter by this as well. The cool thing is, is if you look at the rank though, you could filter by your most commonly used sounds and all of a sudden, boom, this is all the go-tos that I've used over time. I don't know how this feature is actually working. I think it's pretty cool. I just kind of discovered it and I'm blown away by it. So I'm going to be using that for sure. Okay, tip number four. Notice here how there's this cloud and this push grayed out. I don't use Ableton push and I haven't explored this cloud feature. If I want to get rid of that, all I have to do is go up to my settings and then go into my library and I can turn off the cloud and turn off the push right here under preferences library. And now those have been eliminated from my view. I don't have to look at them and my sidebar is even cleaner. Last but not least, I want to bring up a cool feature called similar search. If you're searching through sounds and you see this little button right here, if I like this clap, for example, I can search this and it's going to give me all the claps that have a similar sound to that. I think it's amazing. And then it looks like the rank button right here is still there. So you could see if I use something, but then it also organizes it right next to the rank 
by how similar it is. So as you can see, it's just going down, 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 down. And I think these features are amazing. It can really help dial in your sounds, dial in your library, and help you find the perfect sound for the project that you're working on. So there you go, five Ableton Live 12 browser tricks that you may or may not know. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel, hitting that like button, and that bell notification will keep you up to date on future videos. If you have any questions or comments or know some better tricks, please do drop me a comment down below and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.